Hello, welcome to SCL1 TNO Knitting Project Podcast. My name is Sharon and I'm coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family, three cats and a dog. This is episode 73 and today is the 24th of September 2020 and it's Thursday. Welcome if you're a new viewer, welcome back if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is my podcast all about my crafting, um, mainly knitting this week, in fact other than a tiny bit of crochet, it's all knitting this week. Had a busy week. Um, as you can see, at the moment, I'm in a new location. Um, this is all trying part of trying to fit all the new normal, and uh, I hate that phrase, but <laughs> um, trying to fit all my routine together. So I'm trying something different today. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows how it's going to go? Um, I'm just really glad that you stick with me every week so thank you for that and um, if you're a new viewer the knitting project is my way of getting through my whips so I work on different projects on a six day rolling rotation um, so day one is socks day two at the moment is super secret Christmas knitting which I can't show you um, day three is garments day four is crochet day five is here comes the whip which is where I work on a really old outstanding project um, and day six scrappy projects and it's over six days not seven because I am busier some days than others um, and now guiding has gone back and I'm having zoom meetings or face-to-face -face meetings in some case in one case um, my days are a lot I have a lot less time to craft um, so though if I had the those projects fall on the same day of the week every week those particular projects wouldn't get much work on them hence why it's a rolling six day not seven um so let's get into the main part of the podcast and hopefully it'll all become clearer <laughs> than my explanation admin um okay we have two knit alongs going on at the moment we have a garment knit along which is basically knitting a jumper or a cardigan adult size please and finished objects by the end of the year so you've still got plenty of time if you're only now starting um whips are allowed as long as it's long less than 50 percent done also we're doing the square a day cow which is where we're knitting a square a day on a cozy memory blanket or um any other blanket that you're knitting a square on a day or we're doing granny stripes um the check-in for the end of this quarter which is the september quarter is 274 i promised i'd show you the prizes this week um as you can see that's probably not going to happen because i am yeah i'm in a muddle i'm in a muddle it's been a muddly week um which i'll explain more at the end when i give you a catch-up on my week um but yeah this, this week didn't really go as i planned it um <laughs> hence why I'm here. I am wearing my Whitmore. Um, this is the Whitmore by Amy Loudon and it is in my the Dusty Dimples Bliss and Harmony colourway. Um, and I love it because <laughs> it's just about sweater weather here um, today. It's cold, it's dank, it's um, well, it's been raining. It's not raining at the moment and hubby has just gone out on his bike, but it does actually look like it's going to rain again now. So who knows? Um, I haven't got any questions from last week's um, episode, but I want to say a special hi to Ginny, who has been very ill and is now returning to being able to watch podcasts and do a little bit of knitting. So hi, Ginny. I hope you're feeling better. Um, and let's go into the main part of the podcast. So day one is socks and that's hanging out in a sherry iris autumn bag and i am doing the honeybee dance socks which is a pattern by helen stewart of curious handmade i'm trying to make myself a little set of lacy shorties for next year um so these are all going into a box which i will open um sort of springtime next year whether it's easter i haven't looked to see whether easter's late or not next year so around about easter time um so that was sock one Last week I was on joining the two, um, the Pico together. So I finished that and I've gone slightly down the heel flat. But as you can see, I didn't get much done on this one. There is a reason, you'll see why in a moment. Um, but I love this. And the yarn is a homespun house um, in her perennial blooms colourway. And it has a contrasting mini with it which is on the top there i was supposed to do a contrasting toe but i forgot <laughs> so she's got a little contrast pico on the top 
Um, and it's really pretty. I'm, I'm still not too sure about orange and um, pink together, but it's looking all right. I, whether, I, I don't know whether it would look better with the toe or not, but I'm not ripping it back. These are for me. I don't care much. <laughs> so I knit my socks on two circulars and I'm using Licky Needles or Lanka Needles. Um, and I am using 2.5 millimetre. Um, and I, it was really sad this week because I learned, um, I learned to do this. That's how I learned to do socks. And um, my mum, when the girls were little, bought me a um, socks saw and two circular needles um, book, some sock yarn, the needles and um, for Christmas and gave me Boxing Day off from looking after my little brood um, so that I could learn to knit socks. And it was fab and that's how I've learned to knit socks and I love knitting socks and it's made such a difference to my um, knitting life but sadly the author of that book was the lovely Cat Bordy and she passed away this week um, and I, I, that really knocked me and I was really sad and because of that I decided I wanted to cast on a happy pair of socks in her honour so these are my Cat Bordy socks these are absolutely plain and simple and this is lovely yarn by Looking Glass Fibre Arts, um, who is a dear friend, um, isn't dying anymore at the moment. And look, it's a really happy ball of yarn. So these are going to be my cat boardy socks and absolutely love them. And of course, knit on two circulars. So that's what happened this week. And these are sitting in a yarn bowl which my lovely daughter Katie bought for me, on my desk. And I put a few rows on any time I'm stuck on a call or... Um, recently it's been Zoom. When um, I was working on these ones, I had a Zoom call and realised I couldn't really do lace socks and Zoom. So that's that was perfect for that. Um, so yeah, this is sitting on my desk. And they're just my in honour of Cat Body socks. Because that lady her book taught me to knit socks um i tried dpns which didn't work with small children because they pulled them out or they just put the needles disappeared down the sofa because you have to put them down every five minutes because you know children um and i tried magic loop but i always got a ladder on magic loop and i recently tried magic looping again and still got the ladder i don't get the ladder on the two circulars so it's sort of the best compromise for me between knitting on dpns and knitting magic loop um, so yeah, so it's kind of a slightly sad story to this week's um, Day One Socks, but absolutely I love that lady for what she, the difference she's made to my life, which is no joke, by learning to knit socks. Because by learning to knit socks, I also learned to knit an awful lot of other things. So that's Day One Socks. As I said, day two is super secret knitting. Um, now, I last night, I've, I've finished one thing, that's done. Um, it's quite a big thing because it's a garment, so that's finished. And I've just started a second garment. Um, this is for my three daughters. <laughs> and um, I am learning how to do intarsia in the round. So hopefully over vlogmas no not vlogmas it'll be after vlogmas so the bit between christmas and new year um when they have received their gifts i will perhaps do a little bit of a tutorial on how i've learned how to do intarsia in the round it's not quite the same as any of the other videos i've seen because it didn't really work with what i was doing because there's too much intarsia but i will show you what i did um and this is all because me and duplicate stitch do not go together <laughs> So anyway, that's day two. Day three is garment day and that's hanging out in my lovely stitched by Mrs. D bag, who's the lovely Paula and has her own podcast. Please go check her out. I love her podcast. She's so sweet. And in here is my EDT. I'm getting there with this. I am down to one ball of yarn. <laughs> Luckily, it's still the spring colourway by Nora George. I haven't had to go into my sherry iris yet and I'm really hoping I don't now because it's going to look odd now if I do because I am. This is a sherry iris needle cosy too. Oh, I am no longer knitting in the round. I am splitting 
for the hem at the bottom so that's the body you can see where I had to cut the bottom off so if you're new I had a bit of a disaster with this the bottom of this I knit um, so from where you split from the sleeves down I knit in an MCN and the MCN felted really badly so I've cut that off and luckily I had enough of the colourway that I knit the top in left to re-knit the body so that's what I've been doing I've been re-knitting the body now this is the EDT by Isabel Kramer only instead of doing short row shaping at the bottom I'm doing a split hem and that is what I'm working on at the moment I have split for the front so I am currently this also now has two needles on it I am currently working the front so I'm doing some garter stitch at the side there that's garter stitch and then it's just plain stocking stitch and then I'll do a garter stitch border at the bottom so when I have done that bit I will do the back one so I'm really hoping I have enough otherwise the back is going to look odd and you know when I wear this to yarn shows and you see me if we ever get a yarn show again you can laugh <laughs> but you know knitters, knitters struggles are real people I do love this um, I'm really looking forward to getting this finished the only problem is because um, garment day which is day three follows day two um, day two at the moment I'm knitting Aran weight sweaters and this is a fingering weight sweater so to go from an Aran weight like the day before to a fingering weight the next day bit of a change <laughs> but um, this is actually today's um, day today is day three and I will be knitting on this um, which is actually good because I have a brownie zoom tonight and this will be easy to knit on so I won't have to knit on my socks tonight I'll be able to knit on this which is good um, so that's day three garment day today. I need to say anything else about that I don't think I do I think we've said it all I think that's it so yes that's day three garment day so day four is crochet day and that is currently hanging out in my lovely autumn bag from craft house magic however it is struggling to fit in here so i may not be able to use it for much longer so what did we do we did the rest yes we did we did the rest of this color so this is a christmas blanket that i am making up um this is the christmas in july set by west green loft yarns and that was the colors that you saw last week and then this week i have done the ones with stitch markers on so i finished this set of 10 and i'm now going into this set of 10. um and this is granny squares which i'll show you on here here we go so it's granny squares and it's five rounds of granny squares and then I attach them all that way first, so they're attached to in a stripe a strip, and then I attach the strip to the one below it. And eventually, hopefully, I'm going to have a Christmas blanket. And the idea is it's 20 squares um, wide. So it's very wide when I open it up. <laughs> That's the width of it. So it's 20 squares wide. And then I'm going to make it 20 squares high too. So I've done one, two, three, four. I'm just on number five. So I think that makes I means I'm nearly a quarter of the way through. That's cool, isn't it? And can you see? Oh, I don't think you can. Can you oh, turn that way? Yep, yeah, there we go. That there is um, the basket of minis, Christmas minis that I am choosing from so I've basically gone through all my minis and if they speak Christmas to me I've pulled them out and put them in that basket and I am crocheting it into this blanket I am using a three millimeter clover crochet hook and I'm making a magic knot ball with the leftovers from my minis and the idea is I'm probably going to need a habitation um, throw from this um, I say probably for a reason I'll tell you why um, when I've got all the minis in this when I've made this the reason it may be I may do a corner to corner um, because I saw 
can only be Sophie of the Spring Snowflakes. I think that's all I've watched this week. Um, her corner to corner. I was like, oh, that's really pretty. So I'm thinking I might get some um, like plain commercial yarn and knit it double with this. <laughs> Sophie, you're a bad influence. You call me a bad influence. You're also a bad influence. So, um, but I mean. I think that might be yes next year's Christmas blanket because it's going to need to be a bit bigger than that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking I might do. And yeah, I love this. I'm really, really pleased with how this is coming out. Um, it's there's not a pattern. Um, there's not a pattern at all. So if you actually want to do it and um, you'd like to know how I did mine, just drop me a message and I will let you know. Um, I just made it up basically it's a made up pattern but so that's my crochet so that's day four crochet day so day five is here comes the whip and the current long outstanding whip um I think it's going to be outstanding for a little while now is a habitation throw I should say that that's living in a bag from busy pottering I love this puffin bag um so I'm doing the habitation throw by curious handmaid from last year's knit vent and I'm using my minis from my Sherry Iris advent calendar. So that's the one I'm currently putting in. I think I'm on day five. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm on day six. And I was where the black cat is, which is there. And I did that. I love this this is literally all I wish to want I, I want to um knit on at the moment but it's like no although having said that the um jump I was knitting yesterday is definitely going up in that that was really good fun um I'm also thinking I might knit myself one um out of indie dyed yarn so that might happen next after I get my garment finished so yeah this is the habitation throw I am using 3.25 millimetre needles. It's beautiful and squishy and gorgeous and I just love it. I do love, as we all know, I love Sherry's yarn and then maybe an acquisition with Sherry's yarn in later. <laughs> but yeah. So pretty. So what we've decided we're going to do with these, because I've knitted one of these for um, in my advent from Lay Family Yarn last year is that me and Ian are going to put them in the car and we're going to use these as lap blankets for our Friday adventures now it's getting chillier if we want to sit out so if it's sunny or dry um, but a bit chilly we can sit out you wait till you see this week's Friday adventures hopefully I've got quite a bit of footage of it um, it was really really rough <laughs> we went to the seaside and yeah it was really rough but that's another story for the end of the um, video I've got to remember all these things I want to tell you I should probably write them down but yeah so I'm loving this if you haven't knit a habitation throw and you like knitting blankets and you have a mini set 24 sort of or even if you've got random minis um, I'd really recommend it it's so soothing such a nice thing to knit um, so that's day five here comes the whip so day six is scrappy project day and that's hanging out in my bucket from Ginny Makes which was a present from the lovely Kelly of Lay Family Yarn and this has got my northeasterly in it and I am currently putting in um, right so the way I'm doing it is each strip is a different dyer so that is um, Sherry Iris, that is Hedgeray Yarns, that was Down Sheepy Lane, that was Craft House Magic, that was Lay Family Yarn, that was West Grain Loft Yarns, and I'm currently doing um, Giddy Yarns. So this is my Giddy Yarns strip. And this is a good example of the knitting project because the day that this was in rotation, I did not have very much time to knit. So all I did was from there, that where that um, little marker is there, to there. So I literally just did one section that day because I was really busy and it just, just how it happens sometimes, unfortunately. Um, 
I don't know who's Needle Cozy this is, by the way. It's a beautiful sheepy one. If it's yours, let me know. Um, <laughs> it's really cute. Um, so, yeah, so this is my northeasterly. The idea is I'm going to do um, elderflower stitches and willy goodness next. Then I'm going to do a middle strip of just random. I've got some Vicky Brown and I've got some uh, Truly Hooked and some rosy moments minis that are going to go in the middle um, and then I'm going to go back out again with all these dyers so it'll go um, really goodness, elderflower stitches, then giddy yarns um, and then that'll be the width of it I think I will double check how happy I am but I think that'll be the width of it and then um, I'm going to I've put all this onto a spare cable um, and then I'll do however much longer I want it to be and then that will be done I mean I say that but this has taken me all year to get to this stage so you know um, I'm also got a real urge to work on my bits and bobs blanket um, so that might have to happen so I may have end up with a rotation of um, scrappy projects on scrappy project day but we will see. At the moment, I'm sticking with this. And I, when I work on it, I really enjoy it. It's just uh, didn't get much time to work on it this week. So that's day six, for scrappy project day. Next up is my cosy memory blanket. And that's hanging out in a seaside bag from Busy Pottering. <laughs> and I... Oh, where am I? Here we go. That's the side I'm on. So I do um, 20 by 20 squares and these are all willy goodness from her blanket boxes. I am trying to catch up to date on the blanket boxes so that I can um, put them in an order. Um, so pretty isn't it? I love that one there. It's so lovely. So that's this week, so I haven't done today's yet but that's because it's early <laughs> so I need I need to do today's but yeah. so pretty so I'm getting there I'm on track I've got I'm on the I think I've got two squares ahead now so I'm completely on track I hope you're all doing well with yours um so that's the end of the knitting I'm going to start with the club first so you can kind of look back afterwards so if you haven't got your September club from elderflower stitches look away um, i'm going to show you the little extra first which is really cute and then these are the minis so pretty looking forward to putting these in my blanket aren't they lovely Right, you can look back now, <laughs> just in case. I really don't want anybody to be spoiled, and that's such a pretty set. Although I have had that, I think that arrived last Thursday, so hopefully most people have got theirs. So that's that one. Then I um, bought a few bits and pieces from the Perth Festival of Yarn, um, and one of these is I've got is a little mini set from Henny Penny Makes, um, who I've heard. Um, Helen talk about from Giddy Yarn so I thought I would give it a go isn't that pretty so that's going to go in my cosy memory blanket really like them so sweet little scraps really pretty little scraps at that that's her logo I need to try and remember to link her in the show notes because she's new to me and last but not least um, the lovely Sherry was having a um, mini update um, of with um, Anne of Green Gables, which is a book I love. Um, and this is the, I love the artwork as well. Such a lovely set. The minis are gorgeous. Just one there that's hiding. There we go. That 
it's a super wash nylon nylon and merino and um, that's the little lavender bag that came with it as well which I've put just popped into the minis for now it's such a pretty pretty set love it so lovely um, so that's it for my acquisitions this week I'm fair Paul Smudge which is one of our cats got into a fight a couple of nights ago um, which resulted in me being up until about three o'clock in the morning um, <laughs> she's fine she's absolutely fine she's got a slight cut on her paw um and she's feeling very sorry for herself uh, she's currently in her cat carrier now bizarrely <laughs> she seems to like her cat carrier even though it carried her to the vets um she's decided that's where she wants to curl up so she's fast asleep in her cat carrier i think i've got a photo of her um that i took last night so i shall try and stick that in the vloggy bits at the end but she's absolutely fine she's a bit quiet bless her heart um but as you can imagine the next day i was absolutely shattered um love pets but boy oh boy um so that happened we're back to guiding, um, so I'm doing two Zooms a week, one on a Tuesday, one on a Thursday. The Tuesday one we have been meeting outside, but whether we're going to be allowed to carry on doing that now, I don't know with the new restrictions. Um, I'm still waiting to hear. The Youth Council, the National Youth Council have said that we should still meet because it's important for um, the young people's mental health. So um, we will see. We'll see what happens with that um we're only doing it with guides and we're only doing it outside we're not doing any indoor meetings at the moment they're all on zoom um which is so much fun <laughs> um talking of zoom i am thinking of doing a zoom for you lot um if you would like to have a zoom chat at some point um let me know um leave a comment down below if that's something you would be interested in and we will see if we can kind of um sort that out one time just do a do a knit night at some point um what else was i going to tell you i'm gonna to have to look back on this and go oh yeah it was that cat oh last week we went to um where do we go little beach no Little Stone, I think it's called. I think we we go to Great Stone, but we went to Little Stone, um, which has got a fab little parking place where you can see the sea and eat your dinner because it's, it was really kind of um, windy, really windy, much windier than we'd realised, I think. Um, we were supposed to go to Essex last Friday, but um, due to unforeseen circumstances, we didn't get away from here in time. And um, we kind of thought, oh, do you know what? Let's just go to the coast. It's probably the nice ni last nice day. Um, that we might be able to sit out and then when we got there we were like whoa this is way too windy to sit out so we sat in the car but we had a lovely sea view which hopefully will be at the end of the um, podcast um that was that was really good fun um upcoming things this week um friday this week which is tomorrow is my daughter's birthday my middle daughter charlie it is her 25th so um we've got a weekend of celebrations she's um having a quiet one tomorrow i think and then saturday she's got a brunch and i'm cooking her favorite dinner which is chicken pie she likes my homemade chicken pie is her favorite dinner so i'm cooking her that saturday night and then sunday theoretically we're going to windsor castle i don't know whether that's still going on though i've got to work that out with her um and then we're having a takeaway sunday night so it's going to be a weekend of celebrations sunday again will be a great example of um how the knitting project works because um what's today today is garment so uh, thursday's garment friday will be um crochet saturday will be the habitation throw so sunday will be oh it's the poor northeasterly again <laughs> oh bless it <laughs> so i won't get much chance to work on that on sunday oh dear that poor northeasterly i mean the idea of the rotation is that that doesn't happen but I mean, next week it'll be Saturday, so it should be. I should get a fair amount of work on there then. But yeah, oh dear. Um, I'm also going to start vlogging next week. So from the first, which I believe is on 
Wednesday? Thursday. So, oh, the, so podcast day next week will be the first day of vlogging too. Nothing like having a double whammy there. And um, I will draw, draw with for prizes as well. So on next week's podcast, um, I won't be dry, drawing for prizes on next week's podcast because next week is the first. I will close it on the second just to give anybody who's just got a couple that they want to sneak in time to do. Um, but uh, So it'll be the 8th. I will announce it on the podcast. I may announce it on the vlog before then. I might try and sort of vlog the draw. Um, the idea with um, Vlogtober for me is just to do tiny little snippets of whatever I'm crafting or whatever takes my fancy on the day. Um, you may get a time lapse of me working out, depending on how stupid that looks. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. As I said, it's a, pro it's a practice for me for Vlogmas. It's a practice for the family to get back into it. It's a practice for anybody who may be new attached to our family to go, what? on earth is going on um and you know kind of get used to having the camera around again um because i haven't really done any vlogging this year because we haven't been anywhere i did a little bit in may didn't i but we will see at least in october i can go out and about a little bit more until we all get locked down anyway um obviously if that happens there's no guarantee that I think that's it. I don't think I've got anything else to tell you. I'm kind of looking around for just in case. Um, so I'm here because I um, need to get straight on with work when I finish this. So I thought rather than um, doing it upstairs and then get interrupted and having to come down to do work and etc etc I thought I'd just sit here and do it and then as soon as I turn the camera off I can get on with work and um, hopefully get this edited this evening anyway I'm going to leave you to it now um, there should be some vlog at the end of this I hope you're all okay wherever you are take care and I will see you next week hopefully with a bit more um, content sorry yeah didn't get a chance to spin didn't get a chance to do the embroidery so hopefully
is my 